You're watching T.S. Madison TV. My God today. <laughs> Maddie in the morning, Maddie in the morning. Maddie in the morning, Maddie in the morning. Maddie in the morning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, hold on. What time is it? To whatever time it is, it's morning. It's nine o'clock somewhere, bitch. Get in here and watch the show. Morning. Good morning. It's nine o'clock somewhere, you motherfucking hoes. Good morning, bitch. It's Juneteenth. And this morning, today, I ain't having no negativity about nothing black. Nothing. I ain't having no negativity about nothing black, bitch. We are selling. It's a celebration. Baby, say it loud out there. I'm black and I'm wrong. Even if you ain't black. Even if you're like, even if you're white. Say it loud. I'm black and I'm motherfucking proud. God damn it. It's Juneteenth. We get celebration, honey. Juneteenth. Say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. My God, today. Uh, we ain't having nothing going on with no with none. We 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 ain't reading nobody colored. We ain't talking shit about nobody. Wait a minute. Hold on now. We might. <laughs> You might color folks still be acting up on Juneteenth. They do. Yeah, but listen, I wanted to come through this morning and celebrate it. Yes, what I got on my black power weed. And who said that down there? Put that up there. Who said that? Who said that down? I see y'all down in the comment section. It's just me and you this morning, honey. We ain't got no guests and we got all that stuff this morning. It's just me and you. It's just me and y'all this morning, baby. It's just me and you. Yeah. Oh, Juneteenth is Freedom Day. New York. So to make, make well, they said starting next year, uh huh, it's going to be an official holiday. Well, why the hell they ain't made a different no holiday for this year? I, I, I don't know, but hey, at least, at least it's something though, it's better than nothing. That's what I say. At least they're going to celebrate, they celebrating us. Uh, listen, hey, listen, nah, listen, New York be first to do everything. I can't believe they didn't have it. They supposed to start it out this year, they supposed to start it out. Thank you, Adrian. They supposed to start it out with the situation. Now, they ain't supposed to be playing. Don't play no games now. Well, they said, that's what they said. They said next year, June, uh, June 19th, it's going to be an official holiday. Like Martin Luther the King. Yeah, so meaning it's kick, school going to be closed. closed. And government, basically like government's going to be. Please don't close the bank. No, we black people need the bank. <laughs> Come back to me, Mo. No, we need, no. <laughs> Put it back on me. Y'all close everything but the bank, please. On Juneteenth, y'all keep the banks open, goddamn. <laughs> keep all the financial institutions open in this bitch, also. <laughs> I need all the financial institutions open. <laughs> I don't need y'all closing none of that. Nah, y'all got to stop with all the shit. Keep the banks open, damn it. <laughs> I need to collect. Oh my God! I just, I, I, it just fills me with emotion because y'all know how much I love the Little Mermaid. Y'all know I do my, <laughs> y'all know I live for my Ursula and all that stuff. But we have our first sickening black mermaid girl. Put it back up there. I just, I cannot wait to see these things. These are things I'm so excited for for us as black people. The people was heated because this girl, Miss Chloe, was cast. They are, they're heated. But you know the funny thing is that if it was the other way around, they wouldn't have a problem. Baby, they they was heated. They were heated. Heated on fire, Cletus. They was on fire. <laughs> they said, downstairs, Cletus, downstairs. <laughs> downstairs, Cletus. They was mad because we got us old black mermaid coming out. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm just so I'm I'm really excited about these things that are going on with us as black people. Thank you, Sheila Brooks. Thank you, Roberta Bledsoe. Dorothea Moss, my God, today. Yes, ma'am, Dorothea. Now, that's so good. That's a good old, that's one of us. That's a good, oh, Haley, I'm sorry. It's Haley. You know, I get a confusion. You know, they look like one older than you, one younger than us. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all know I'm old. And y'all know. Okay. Uh, thank you, Dorothea. Thank you, Roberta. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you very much, honey, for blessing the world. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me right now. Um, Mo, my mama told you to uh, go out there and get your plate and bring mine down here with you, too. Uh -huh, she texted me. She said, the food, the little, the little snack that we, we got is ready. But, y'all, I just want to say, um, is, this is definitely a time. This is a time to be black. This is a time for us for us black people. Girl, we tearing down all this shit. 
when I saw Aunt Jamama, when I seen Aunt Jamama and Uncle Ben's had to go, I say, God damn it, they moving something right now. When I seen that all those old systems of shit that was in place, that Confederate flag got to go down. Them people is hot about that Confederate flag got to come down. They is heated, bitch. I'm telling you, them bitches is like a bag of of of, 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 of uh, uh, extra hot Cheetos, bitch. They is on fire cleaners on fire. You hear me? Thank you, Derek Herbert. Thank you, Cephas. Thank you, baby. Those people are heated, bitch. Heated on fire, smoking, bitch. They like smoke in the band over there. Horns coming out the head, bitch. They, they get like hellfire on the end. What is that, Mo? Listen, my mom is good. My mom is like, listen, she's like God on time. She's an on time. God is a black woman. <laughs> Fight me if you don't believe it. Fight me. God is a black woman. Who don't believe me? Who don't believe me that the living God is a black woman? Who don't believe me? The living God. Who don't believe me? God is a black woman. Mo, you done got quiet over to your side of eating. No, I'm, I'm not quiet. Oh, okay. Because God is a black woman. <laughs> Thank you, Tafu. Oh, wait a minute, Mo. You can you tell me? I want to tell you. Uh, I want. I really wish I could. Tafu, I can't really pronounce your last name. I know you some kid in the Mo over there. You got one of those good old motherland last names. Thank you, Lavelle. Thank you, baby. Courtney. Thank you. Listen. So Miss Mary made me. Miss Mary made she. You know we ain't been out to eat nowhere. So Miss Mary made me. Um. She made me some. Um. I would call it English muffins. I don't know if it's the Queen's English muffin, but I, mm -hmm. uh huh. Yes. Thank you, Brittany. Uh huh. Hmm. So we had went to the store, and you know we get those little English muffins. Wait a minute, what happened with Taco Bell? Oh, uh, what they did to Taco Bell? I don't know what, they did. what Taco Bell did? And I don't know how to eat there anyway. You know I'm mad in the motherfucker and all that shit right now. I'll, I'll be out there tearing that bitch down with it. Well, because the wind is already left, but the white woman did that. Right. That white girl burnt windows down. Burnt like, that white woman burnt that windows down. Now they gonna tell her ass up. She burnt that. What Taco Bell did? Oh, I think because, uh, yeah, I think because uh, Taco Bell supports Trump. I think they do support mm -mm. I'm about to open up the lines in a minute. We're going to talk about being black this morning. Taco Bell, see what happened to Taco Bell, the boy, he had a Black Lives Matter shirt and they wanted to, they wanted to take off his shirt. And they said no. And they, I mean, you see what happened to Starbucks too, right? Girl, you know we ain't been to Starbucks since the Corona, <laughs> so they ain't got to worry about it. <laughs> Starbucks ain't got to worry about it. Listen, let me tell y'all something, black people. We got to show them how strong the black dollar is. The black dollar, right? Power. right. The black dollar is powerful, bitch. Don't you ever play with the black dollar? <laughs> Don't you ever play with it? Don't you ever play with it? I'm telling you, the black dollar is powerful. Hold on. That gay dollar too. What are you? What you eating? Yeah. Well, Miss Mary made me. Miss Mary made me a egg Mc, um, uh, egg Mac muffin. You know, Miss Mary's <laughs> right. So this is an egg Mac muffin. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mac muffin. It's a Mac muffin. It's okay. an egg Mac muffin. It has, uh, it has turkey, smoked turkey, an egg, an egg, and a, a cheese, and she put jelly on it. Uh, she put I see because every time you bite it, it's just squeeze out. Yeah, she put actually she didn't put jelly on it. She put paletta's all fruit. You know. <laughs> she texted me the other day. She had, she had, she she. Had, she put the letters all fruit on here. <laughs> yes, yeah, every time you bite, you just squeeze on ooze on out. 
Yes. You did. I seen your interview yesterday. You was you did real good. But you know, I you can't talk. I mean, I'm I'm passionate about business. Right. Mm. And food. Mm. And, <laughs> and food. And food. So how you feel about Juneteenth? My mama said, "Don't do it." Yes, ma'am. Miss Mary made her. She made her egg Mac muffin. Egg Mac muffin. Uh huh. It has uh. I think this is uh, aged Swiss cheese, uh, <laughs> smoked turkey, uh -huh. egg, and Palanters all fruit. You remember the Palanters all fruit commercial? We went to let it say, please pass the Palanters all fruit. Please pass the Palanters all fruit. And that old Southern country bitch came with there and say, would you please pass the jelly? <laughs> 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 And he was like, mm, mm. bitch, let me tell you something. Them commercials back there used to take me away from the earth. I know, because you said, oh, you was goofy. You just like shit like that. Mm -hmm. That's what, That's how I got a lot of my wit and shit like that. I got a lot of my wit from watching TV, from watching lots of stuff. And this is why it's so important growing up in this world. Uh -huh. Thank you, Wendy. Growing up in this world that we see things on television, like we have representation on television. I'm so glad. Listen, I'm so glad to see black people on TV. I'm so uh -huh. glad. I'm actually so glad to see our people on TV as well. Right, and me too. I'm so proud. I'm it's like it's so much change that's going on in the world, and a lot right. of times people don't like change because it makes them feel uncomfortable. Well, if right. it's making you feel uncomfortable, good. <laughs> right. Sometimes change, sometimes necessary change. A lot of times, necessary change it's will good. make you feel uncomfortable because you because you're so used to being a bitch, Aunt your mama. <laughs> but I'm even, baby, they take the, tear that Aunt your mama shit down, Uncle Beans. You know what that shit means. And we just been buying it. I got a case of, I got a ball on Uncle Jim Mama upstairs right now. <laughs> we just buying the shit, acting like we don't see nothing going on. Right. Acting like none of this shit is just going on right in front of us, making the ice cream. Listen, we got to get rid of the ice cream man truck. The ice cream truck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that jingle, we got to get rid of the ice cream truck. The ice wow. cream truck got to go. Damn. <sighs> we done got used to and complacent with. It's mm -hmm. coming down. They got to go. Let me see. Got to change. Oh, you been okay there? Under Mama was a corporate architect based off a real enslaved black woman named Nancy Green who was never compensated as promised. Tear the motherfucker down. Tear the bitch up. What, what the she said? <laughs> Put the penny club that bitch and give me that. <laughs> Tell the motherfucker down. Black people be proud to be black. Yeah, bitch. Bitch, 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 our skin built this hope, built the wealth of this country. Yes, built yes. Of this country. It built that. You bitches out there tears, by, bitch. by, by businesses being towed up. That business don't belong to you. The business don't belong to them people. The, 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 the fucking ground don't belong to it. The damn in, in short company don't belong to it. Tell the motherfucker down! It's about to occur right now, bitch. It's about to occur right now. Bitch, the neighborhood you live in, it don't belongs to you. Bitch, you just pay, <laughs> you're there, you paying the rent, man. The rent, man, he paying the mortgage, man. The mortgage, man, is J.P. Chase Morgan that own all of that shit. Message. Message, y'all. That be out, out there denying you People, you first time home buyers, right? You, you know, you you black owned business people, just like myself, who 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 a bitch won't let come through when they when you put your sex and your race down there, bitch. Please believe that is definitely counted against you. Mm -hmm. Um, Black History Monkey Wrench Snopes.com. Um, Solomon Merrick of Springfield, Massachusetts. Patent the first wrench in one in 1835. Um, white folks put monkey in front of it because the black man invented it. Yeah, I just read, I just saw that the other day. Damn, baby. So they've been doing this long time. Oh, 
That's why we. Call I don't think I could have made it. I don't think I could have made it back through those times. They would have been took me out. That's why it's called monkey rent. I think oh. that's why they would they would have been took me Mr. out. Leah said, "Cancel Betty Crocker." What Betty Crocker done did? Leah, tell us about Betty Crocker. But we ain't really fuck with Betty Crocker like that anyway. Priscilla, Priscilla say I can't get a home loan for nothing. Right? You get what I'm saying? We don't own none of that shit. Hmm. None of that. None of that. I I don't think I, I don't think I would have lasted back in them times. They would, I think they would have been took me out. Thank you, Patricia. You know I love you. Let's see. Uh, okay. <laughs> they would have been took me out there. That's put just Christina too much. There. Put Christina's comment up there. She said, "Wow, forty-four years old. I just learned that my favorite series is an actual person by the name of Nancy Green. Right? They, you know what they also need to do? They need to go through and rearrange those the history books by black folk." You know they need to rearrange it. The history book, like we we've learned, we've learned the history of this country. You know they need to let some black people write those books. Some white white people write history. those books. We have learned they need to go through the school curriculum <laughs> and re, 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 restructure that school curriculum. Because yeah. let me tell y'all something, I, I, I felt so dumb. I felt dumb. Okay, yeah. because. It when I was 39, I think I wait, I was 35. I'm wait, like, bitch, you 39. Wait, bitch, how how, well, how old you really is? I'm, I'm, I'm old enough, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think I had to be about 35 or maybe 33, 33 or 35. One day it was in my late, it was in my mid 30s. That was like 40 years ago, right? Almost, but bitch, listen, <laughs> look at you at age. <laughs> And look like a woman doing it. <laughs> but go ahead. Move that comment, Mo. Yeah. Oh my God. Thank you, Henry. Thank you, baby. Thank you, Joy Led Sutton. Thank you. I found out, God, and uh, y'all, y'all, please, please, y'all, don't, don't, don't think that I'm stupid, stupid, dumb. But I found out that. Egypt was in, I mean, was the, the Nile River that, that Egypt was in Africa. Mm -hmm. Mo, you know, I, I was in my mid 30s because you know, you never think about Egypt and you never think about because they never, they never, right? Really, they never really describe, like, you know, what they do with Egypt is because, you know, Egypt is like, it's Egypt has a lot of similarities with the people in the Middle East. Number one, number two, Egypt was like one of the most well-developed countries in history. Why people don't want you to know that? I Africa didn't know that it was. I did. I, if I, I, in my, I yeah, felt only Africans knew that Egypt was Africa. Really. I almost was in tears. You know, really, when I really paid attention, I was like, "Oh my god!" And then, list. Then when you when when you start, it's just so many things. There's so many things started coming into my brain. Like, wait a minute. So if Egypt is in Africa, this means that, <sighs> wait a minute, Moses was black and mm. this stuff was black and all these things was black. Like all, my mind, my, my brain just started flooding. <laughs> when you, I mean, not trying to go to the Bible, but when you listen to the Bible. Like Those same people say that they not going to come out and vote again because they don't see any difference in what's being proposed this year as was what's proposed in 2016. That's my concern. And then now we have the same thing all over again where Republicans control the House, the Senate, and the presidency. That's my thing. What are we going to do if that happens again? I it's a, it's a it's huge possibility that that could happen. I just, I feel like if I, I if I'm gonna throw my vote away, because it's a huge possibility, Trump is an incumbent president. He has 92 percent Republican support. No matter what we do as black people, we cannot deny that that is what it is. We can't use our 12. Don't worry about it, Nemo. Then a vote of the country to override that. Because the whites in this country are 60 plus percent. Our numbers will never, if we all get out and vote, dwarf what they do. 
So why not take a chance on something different? That's all. That's all I'm professing. I'm not saying I'm going to vote down ballot for every other Democrat that's on my sheet to vote for because I don't agree with the Republicans and what they're doing as well. But, but what I'm saying is what is going to be the difference for black people day to day life? What difference will it make? Because Donald Trump was said that he was going to be the worst president since worst. And let me tell you something. I know black people. I'm around black people. I live in a black neighborhood. And their lives ain't changed. Not one goddamn day from Barack Obama into Donald Trump. It's the same shit. Different day. So well, see, what I'm, is I'm we going to do I'm as a people? Counting, I'm not just, hold on. Hold on. I'm not just counting on black folks to go vote. There are white folks that are frustrated with this nigga named Trump. And there are Hispanic people in this country that are also that are also uh, very much so upset about this whole uh, DACA thing, about trying to yes, put Mexicans out of the country. So it's almost like you're just counting on just black folks to vote. It's, we're not the only ones that voted. We're not the only ones that got Obama in the office. There aren't enough black folks in this country that could have just gotten Obama in the office. And the same is true in this scenario. Right. But but, but because true. of all of this stuff that's going on right now, like what, what I'm saying is, um, Latinos historically vote be split though. If you go based on the his, the historical context, because I'm watch what I watch is trends, and what the trend that I'm seeing is that the Latino vote is going to be split, just like it always is. There are a lot of Latinos who came out. They did come out for Bernie Sanders, so maybe they will for a chance. Maybe they will come out for Joe Biden. Well, maybe they won't. But because outreach is an issue. Or, or and that's why they historically will. won't, they have not been coming out. But I or, think the energy that you're using. I, I'm on the ground, I talk to people. But, and, you know, the energy is, we're going to vote for who comes to our neighborhoods and who talks to us and tells us what they're going to do for us. But see, that is how they are. That's how think, all people are. I think you this know what I'm saying? But, I think that, and, hold on. I think the energy, some <laughs> of this energy that you're exerting, you can use to be hitting the ground, hitting the pavement, campaigning. But not oh, for the I third do. party. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but, but, no. but not, yeah, but I'm not not for the third party though. No, we can't, like we can't even so, be pushing. I love you, Kara, but we can't yeah. even be pushing for no third party vote. Like we can't even be doing like it's so like because not only does not only does these things affect me as a person of color, this mm -hmm. stuff affects me as a as a per, as a queer person, as a trans person, as the LBGT person because. Right. First people that they go after immediately, like as soon as they, the first thing he went after was us. Right. Flags. That's the first thing. That That's is the true. first thing. The first That's thing. So, so I can't, I can't let my vote or let my non-vote fall into the hands of that type of administration again. I can't do that because I'm hit always, not just because I'm black, but also because I'm gay. Also, because I'm trans, mm -hmm. you know, all the, all the other minorities that I fall under. So I can't just, I just, I can't, I can't, that's why I can't play with third party. I can't do it. I can't let my vote go out there to third party. I can't, like, I, if the lesser okay. of two people, I got to, I have to do that. He got to go for me. Because, <laughs> because the person, that, brings, that, brings, that brings me back to the question that if, if he wins still again, then what? Then what? That's 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 my biggest fear. That's my biggest fear. If he win again, and this time he don't just win, just the presidency. He has the House and now the Senate. And this time it's for longer because if you notice the rotations, Republicans right now are up to lose the most seats. But the next time around, it's we extra we proposing to if this is. Going forward, this is what's happening. Yeah. How right, is that? So I mean, how are we going to change our? I mean, gotta, I, I don't, I don't see how pull. going on with what is that's, that's a question going to change things. We do have to pose. because I talk. I mean, I talk to African Americans all the time, and like Craig said, I am on the ground in my community during the primaries. I got more people in my community to vote who had never voted. 50, 60, 70 years old. They never voted in their entire lives. I got them to go out and vote, and I didn't give a damn who they voted for. Whether it be Joe Biden, whether it be Bernie Sanders, whether it be Buttigieg, I didn't care who they vote. Just get there. And I took them there. I used my hard-earned money to take people there who had never voted before. Yeah. Because I do believe that our vote is powerful. But I'm saying, in this scenario, we have two racists 
to known racist. And why should we take a chance on somebody who has spent their life work that can't even get on a black media show and denounce what he did to us? That is my concern. And if he does get in the White House, what if he goes further than Donald Trump? That is my concern. I get you know what I'm saying? I, I, I hate that that puts me against the majority of my people because I love my people. And everything I do is for the betterment of my people. But I don't see what the point is to give Joe Biden a W. And he has dismantled communities with what he has done in the past. And that is that bothers me. That bothers me deeply. What are we going to do if this man gets in office and be like, fuck us? Like, what are we going to do? Because he's been saying fuck us this whole time. All right, my love. I don't know. If you just enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or if you're already here, click that bell up there, up there, one of them, and subscribe so that you don't miss this or any other excellent content that I have for you. Don't meet me here. Beat me here. Ciao.